finish the study from the ten horn, one horn is coming out and pull out the other three. Remember that? Yes. Um, before BC 500, Daniel wrote the Daniel book of Daniel. And he is uh, describing by the Holy Spirit that the God is teaching Daniel what will be happening for the next generation and next, next. So after first country who ruled the world is Babylon, right? The second was Metal Persia. Third one, Greece, which is Hella. Fourth one, Rome, Roman Empire. From the Roman Empire, the Roman Empire divided by how many countries? Ten. Ten countries, yes. From the ten country, there is one coming out, but has an eye and a mouth. And this one is different from the other. And this will pull out three horns. What does the horn mean? Countries. Pardon? Countries. Yeah, countries. Like a, actually king. King mm -hmm. or the country. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's read it together. I was considering the horns, and there was another horn, a little one, coming up among them, before whom three of the first horns were plucked out by the root. And there in this horn were eyes like eyes of a man, and a mouth speaking pompous words. Yes. There is a horn, another horn, a little one, coming up among them, before whom three of the first horn were plucked out, and by the root, and there, in the horn. It's different from other horn because it has eye of man, and mouth speaking, pompous, word okay can you read it this word again the ten horns are ten kings who shall arise from this kingdom and another shall arise after them he shall be different from the first ones and shall subdue three kings he shall speak pompous words against the most high shall persecute the saints of the most high and shall intend to change times and law then the saint shall be given into his hand for a time and times and half a time. Yes. For the times and times and half time, we, will, we are going to learn about that. But we are going to learn about most of other, about the little horns. The first thing is she is different from other first ones, isn't it? Other one doesn't have eye or the mouth, but he has it. The second one, he shall speak pompous words against the Most High. In other words, this little horn is against the God. Shall persecute the saints of Most High. And this little horn will persecute the saints of the God. And shall intend change time and law. So he is going to do what? He will change the time and the law. Then the saints shall be given into his hands for a time and times and half time, which is a year, two years, and half years. So some, some English version of Bible, it, they really translate a year, two years, and half years. Why? Because the words we translate as a times, it could be translated as a year too. Okay. The land of the little horn is a time of the medieval papacy, which is from AD 538 to 1798. In other words, Daniel wrote the Bible, the Daniel, book of Daniel, BC 500. So he is showing through the Bible after 2,500 years. Isn't that great? If you study the Bible, you cannot say this book was written by the man. This book was written by the God. Why? Everything goes accordance of the Bible. The more you study about the Bible, and more you study about the history, the more you have a confidence about what is going on and how the world will be end. 
After division of Rome into ten horns, what remarkable development occurs between the ten horns? Yes, we read it. Can you read it one more time? I was considering the horns, and there was another horn, a little one coming up among them, before whom three of the first horns were plucked out by the roots. And there in this horn were eyes like the eyes of a man, and a mouth speaking pompous words. Yes. This horn should come out after Roman Empire divided. Am I cor correct? Mm -hmm. According to Bible, after Roman Empire divided by, by 10, then this horn should be up here. If this horn come out after or before the 10 country, then this is a fake. Do you understand? Okay. What is the curious little things that pro protrudes between the 10 horns? What is the identity of this mysterious little horn? And how is each attribute and roles are described? Well, about this horn, yes, we already read this verses, which is describing about this horn. It says it like this. The ten horns are ten kings who shall arise from the king, this kingdom. This kingdom was Roman Empire. And another shall rise after them. Actually, that's them. He shall be different from the first one. So he should be different from first ones. How different? And shall subdue three kings. He shall speak pompous words against Most High, which is God, and shall persecute the saints of the Most High. So all the condition of these verses must be accurate with the little horn. Yes. Who is this? We know this very easily. Can you read it? In conclusion, the little horse symbolizes the Roman papacy. This is because the properties and functions of the little horn are entirely represented of the Roman papacy. Summarizing the above explanation of the little horn, we have the following identification. Yes. We make conclusion first. It's not because I hate Roman Catholic. I don't hate Catholic people or I have no kind of personal emotion with personal against with the Roman Catholic group. Only when we study the Bible, there is no other way but only the Catholic command. Well, Riza was Catholic and most of others, including yourself, Catholic, isn't it? But I, if I hate the Catholic, then I don't need to give the Bible study, isn't it? So personally, I have no way. And as the way of God and Jesus, they love the people as I do love the people. But we cannot also say that that's not pap papacy or that's not the Pope. Why? Because the only country has a passport with a religious character among the history of Roman Empire after the 10 the countries only Roman Catholic comes out. This is not only Adventist idea. This is the most of the Protestant church idea too. Even Isaac Newton described this as Roman Catholic. So let's see where it happens. Fourth beast in Roman territory. So if this is not coming out from the Roman territory, we cannot consider it. We cannot say this is Indian. Why? Because it should come out from the Roman territory. When it happened, immediately after the fourth beast, the Roman Empire is divided into ten horns. After, not before, not very, very before, or not after many, many centuries like now. And occurs in, in the midst of the ten horn. It must come out where? From the ten country, in the mid, middle of it. 
So what happens when it happens? <coughs> the three horns that came out first were plucked out from before him. So meaning to say, she has something to do to pluck out with these three, three horns. And what is the national character? A kingdom like ten horns. It has a character like a political character, like a ten horns. Different from the ten horn, a kingdom like ten horns, but the concern are about the religion. Tell me, is there any nation who has a passport with the religious? In the world up to now, there is no country except the Vatican, which is the Roman Catholic. The size and appearance, smaller in size, with eyes and large mouth. What does it mean? With eyes. With eyes. He see everywhere in the world. What is a, what is a large mouth? She speak against God. Also, when Pope is speaking, all the president of the nation, even U.S., they really respect the Pope. We do not know why. He is just a leader of small country, which is the Vatican, and he is just a small person, and he is just a leader of one religion. But his act is all about political. Religious characteristic, opposing God with a pompous word persecute God's people, and to change time and law of God. So, the Bible is a very strict and very clear. We cannot deny that this little horn is Roman Catholic. Because there is no Christianity religion, dominance, that would change the law of God. Duration of existence, a times, times, and half time. A year, two year, and a half year. About this, we are going to learn about next time because we don't have much time. So final destiny, lost his rulership at the end and go for eternal death. This is his destination. Well, we must understand historical background of the little horn. Why this little horn come out? Okay, can you read it? After more than 200 years of terrifying persecution of Christians, the Roman Empire realized that it was impossible to crush Christianity by force. And in 313 AD, Emperor Constantine took the groundbreaking step of granting freedom of the Christian faith by claiming the Edict of Milan. Yes. Actually, Roman Empire, they persecute the Christianity. When Nero, the empire Nero, made a fire in the Romans, what he said? You know what? Christian made a fire. From the time, all the Christian was persecuted a lot from the Roman empire. And AD 312, he became Christian. And now, he's saying that it is okay for freedom of religion. Okay, can you keep on reading it? On March 7, 321 AD, Emperor Constantine unexpectedly issued the famous Sunday Closing Decree, declaring Sunday a holiday for the first time by declaring it the Venerable Day of the Sun and requiring all government employees and citizens to take the day off. Yes, so Sunday law is not the first time. It was the first time this time. Why? Because in Roman, their God is, who's that? The sun God. So everybody worship on Sunday, but Christian, they worship on Saturday. So they said, okay, let's find a way. But we are going to take a rest on Sunday. You worship Jesus on Sunday. It becomes the beginning of Sunday worship. And there is another one coming out. Okay, can you read it? Empire Constantine moved the capital from Rome to Byzantium in 330 AD, 
and renamed it Constantinople in the Roman political landscape left by the son departure of the emperor, the position and influence of the bishop of the Roman church, the sole spiritual leader of the West at the time, grew stronger. Yes. The Constantine, he moved his place, the capital, from the Italy, you can see the Italy there, right? And that is Constantinople, which is the now Istanbul, Turkey. So he moved far away as a capital, so the Italy become vacant with a political power. So when it becomes no one is ruling, so who is start to rule? The Pope start to become very strong. Okay, fourth one, can you read it? With the fall of the Western Roma in 476 AD, Rome was left without an emperor and the already powerful bishop of the Roman Church became its supreme leader. And it was from the bishop of the Roman Church that the word Pope, a common title meaning father, was borrowed, became the title of today's Pope. Yes, most high priest in worshipping the son religion, actually the name also same as Pope. So from the time when Western Roman Empire was full, then people start to call the leader of Roman Catholic as a pope. Okay, can you read it more? The Eastern Roman Emperor Justinian, seeking to use the growing influence of the Bishop of Rome to regain political power in Western Rome, declared the Bishop of the Roman Church the Pope to be head of the whole church in 333 AD, and the following year codified this fact in Roman law. Yes. So he put as a, the Pope as the head of the whole church in 333, and they put connecting with the political power and put that in the law of the Roman. Okay, next. The Roman Pope now head of the world church, cemented his political ties to the Frankish king Pepin III by sending the Archbishop Boniface to crown him in 752. Even though Pepin III had usurped the throne and taken it for himself. In return, Pepin III donated to the Pope the governorship of Ravenna, which he had taken from the Lombards in 754 AD. Thus, the Roman Church was born as a religious state with the Pope as its religious emperor and territory. Yes. The area, the area was taken, was the place of Roman Ravenna. Now, the Italy, you can see the red one that, there. Yes. So then, he was given the political power too. Well, we understand three countries will be pulled out, isn't it? Three kings will be pulled out. You can see the Vandar and Ostrogoth, and there is another one, but I will tell you in some time. Okay, so what is the significance of the plucking of the three horns when the little horn appears? Okay, you can read this and you will know. The reason why the papacy was unable to assert its power despite the full support of the Eastern Rome was due to the interference of Aryan states with different religious beliefs which dominated the Italian region. In response, Emperor Justinian of Eastern Rome, a Catholic, supported the Eastern Goths, destroying Western Rome and removed Heroli who ruled the Italian region in 493. He then sent his general Vesalius to conquer the Vandals in 534 and force the Eastern Goths, Ostrogoths, to withdraw from Rome in 538. In doing so, Vesalius, then Bishop of Rome, freed himself from the influence of Iranianism and laid the groundwork for the establishment of the papal primacy in Rome. Yes. So, how many countries? Three countries. Which is what? 
thoroughly. And we call the eastern goat, but actually mostly in English term, you say the ostrogoat. Ostrogoat. Have you heard ostrogoat? And vandal. So Ostro ostrogoat, they were removed in AD 538. So from AD 538, no more enemies in front of the papacy. So that is the time the papacy can do politically or religious way. He become most powerful from the AD 538. Since the Ostrogoth coming out from the territory. So these three, Heruli, which is uh, Ostrogoth and Vandals. Where was the Vandal? Yes, you can see the Vandal. Heruli is actually territory of the Italy now. You can see the butch, like a butch. Yes, that is Italy now. Heruli is the side of the butch. Ostrogoth and Visigoth, there is a two goats, but because it's a right side, we call the Eastern goat, which is the Ostrogoth. And West one, we call the Western goat sometimes, which is a Visigoth. And Vandal is over there. Vandal is a people of German people, which is a big, and they were warriors actually. But the three country, he pull out because they against with different religion. So, okay, let's go to. So the significance of the conquest of the Ostrogoths in AD 538. Can you read it again? A lot, right? The conquest of the Ostrogoths, the last of the Pope's enemies is significant in prophetic interpretation as it marks the beginning of the papacy dominance of the world. General Belisarius, on his way back from the complete capture of the Vandals, struck the East Goths, also Arrhenius, who controlled the city of Rome. On the 39536, the city of Rome was finally recaptured and the Ostrogoths ousted. However, the Ostrogoths, who continued to invade, retreated in mid-538, so that Emperor Justinian's decree that the bishop of the Roman church is the head of the whole world could be carried out without opposition. Yes. So what happened, because the Ostrogoth, they are the one who control the Rome. The power of the papacy, the, the pope, cannot really show its power. But since the Ostrogoth was removed from the Rome, 538, now it become totally the land of papacy. So if you go to Italy, that is the main, many, many churches are beautiful in Italy. And I visited some places, the sizes of the church you cannot really even imagine before you get there. Why? Because the power he is showing with the churches. So actually, it, it needs to be continued so the land of the power firmly established during the time of 538. So, land right of Pope were firmly established. This is a quite important. When? In 538. The withdrawal of the Wittigis is the name of the kings of East God with the Ostrogoth from the Rome was effectively their end. So they cannot exist anymore. As a result, some scholars consider AD 538 to be the year of their dismiss. So no more Ostrogoth 538. Okay, can you read this? The bishops of Rome thus mark a turning point in A.D. 538, when for the first time they were free from the influence of the Aryan Germanics, who had harassed them for over 60 years. Yes. <clears throat> then the religious nature of this little horn. What does it mean for the little horn to against the Most High with his speaking? Can you read this verse? He shall speak pompous words against the Most High. Yes. Who is the Most High? The Most High is God. How many gods do we serve? Only 
one God we serve. The little host of verb bar confrontation with God refers to the fact that it will speak against God and commit the sin of blasphemy. What is a blasphemy? Which is worshiping the idol, which is when the way of worship is wrong, the Bible keeps on saying that blasphemy. Okay. So the religious nature of this little horn and a mouth speaking composed word, it speaks in Daniel chapter 7, verse 8. Verse 720, it says the same word and a mouth which speak composed words in Daniel chapter 720. And also about him. Second Thessalonian is speaking this way. Can you read this? Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Yes. So Second Thessalonian is uh, describing about this little horn. And she giving another option. She must sit in the temple of God and showing himself that he is as a God. Wow. Let's go to Revelation. Can you read it? Then he opened his mouth and blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name, his tabernacle, and those who dwell in heaven. Yes. So this this prophecy he must be really against the God and he must speak which no one can speak. Well, she has a title in the Church of Catholic. This is not my own speaking. This is a recorded speaking in the Catholic books. Okay, He's called God on earth. Who? The Pope. And she has a title, King of King. How come? Why? Because of mid age, she's the one who give authority and give the crown to the king. So he is he was his title was King of Kings. Even kings of other nations, they come and bow down in front of the Pope. And Pope is the one who put the crown. And if Pope doesn't consider him as a king, then he cannot be a king. So she is a king of kings. And she says that the one who has taken the place of God Almighty. Wow. She said she taken the place of God Almighty. Is there any people here say that I'm God? No. But the Pope is a saying that Christ earthly representative. Yes, this time he speak a lot like this. Only this? No. He speak himself as what? Holy Father. And vicar of God. The Bible clearly speak that about this little horn. Mouth speaking, composed. Is there any pastor in Protestant church or even Hinduism or even Buddhism that they say that they are creator? No. Only Pope is a saying that he is Holy Father in this world. I don't know who gave the title like this. Okay, can you read this together? The authority of the Pope is so great and so high that he is not a mere man, but God, so to speak, and God's representative. The Pope wears a threefold crown as king of heaven, earth, and the underworld. The Pope is, so to speak, the sole governor of those loyal to Christ, to whom Almighty God has entrusted the command of the earthly as well as the heavenly kingdoms. He is the firstborn, the chief of kings, and the one with the fullness of power. The Pope has so much authority and power that he can modify, explain, or interpret even the laws of God. Wow. This is written in Catholic book. Continue for this. Can you read it? 
the Pope can modify the laws of God because his authority is not of men, but of God. And he acts as God's representative on earth with the most abundant power to bind or loose his flock. What is contrary to faith is that he does not do anything contrary to faith, but that Jehovah God himself and the Redeemer, whatever the Lord God himself and the Redeemer do, his vigor does. Yes. This is book is what? Lucius Ferris Papa Second. This is their books in the Catholic. This is what they believe. Bill, do you believe this? I never saw that before. Do, can you agree with this? No. <laughs> Just to look. She says that the Pope wears a threefold crown, three stage crown, which is heaven, earth, and underworld. Did you see the crown of the Pope, which is a three layer? And she said he is a ruler of the heaven, ruler of the earth, ruler of the underworld. I don't know if Bible say about the underworld because I never heard about it. Whom? Almighty God. He said he is not a man. How come? And what kind of religion, especially Christianity, can say that they are God? In the world, there is none. Well, we need to continue more and more, but in that case, Bill cannot eat. <laughs> so we will stop here today, and next week, we will continue for the study. But if you have a time, by tomorrow or something, we can even study by the tomorrow again for the next chapter. Because this is not my own interpretation. This is the uh, same as exactly same what the Bible described about the little horn. We have no way to escape about this little horn. But only the papacy, which is a pope, is qualified with all the words in the Bible. So I hope we know what is the truth in the Bible and follow the Bible. Because the Bible is not saying about only Jesus will come. And it tells what will happen before Jesus come and what will happen after Jesus come too. As it was written, everything was completed. And because of that, I believe the Bible is true. Because it was happened as it was written 2,500 years ago. Let's pray.